Good morning everybody, it is sun oh no, Saturday today, <laughs> Saturday the 31st of July. Um, I realised that I didn't actually finish last night's vlog. Um, so we did go over to the Alton Towers Hotel, um, but it was quite noisy and there was lots of music playing, so I didn't um, video any of that. Basically, um, they were just dancing and they had like a person singing where the ship was. So the children were all um, jumping up and down and he was like getting them to dance and things. Pretty similar to what there was at this Splash Landings Hotel. They had a singer on, didn't they? And yeah. stuff like that. So it was probably like the same amount of noise. I don't think it was any well, we had different the stage really. Music and just some kids dancing on the stage. Yeah, there was kids dancing really on the wasn't stage, wasn't there? Loud at all. No, it was it was quite loud. Like I said to and like the people that were in those first rooms at that Alton Towers hotel were like kind of right near the noise and you could hear it right down the corridor, couldn't you? So it must yeah. have been really loud for those people in those rooms. So that was last night. Then we went to bed, didn't we, pretty straight away when we got back. Um it was boiling in the room, wasn't it? Like so storm, yeah, we had we had the window open and the fan on, but the fan wouldn't work at first for ages, so we finally managed to get it working. Matilda wanted me to sleep on the bed underneath her, which I did start off on the bunk bed, but then it was so hot, I think because it was like in the corner on the bottom, no air was getting to it. So I ended up back in the main bed, which is quite small, but we still managed, didn't we? Yeah. Um, what I was going to go on to about this whole time is there's a lot of corridor noise. Yeah, there's I think like room. last night there was like kids running up and down the corridors and things, but I we think that was just like to be expected. So upstairs from us must be a Yeah, I think that's just to be expected though, isn't it? In a hotel where it's like this full of kids and things, there's going to be like people coming back to the rooms late and different bits of stuff. You do know that now, if you get room 1312, you have a corridor above you. It's not above you, it's just the same corridor out there as what it is here. Oh. So it's just in the same position. This will be a room above us, but you can obviously hear the other corridor that's on the other floor yeah so well, we didn't have too bad a night's sleep you slept all night didn't yeah, you matilda i think like in the premiere where it was exactly above us like dancing yeah. cows that was so that was when we went to the premiere and that was people above us yeah we'll leave you and again in it's not to that video below. it's not a corridor it's just people above us and um, but all in all it is a nice room like it is a nice room it was just hot and I can imagine that like last week when it was 30 degree heat, it would have been even hotter staying in this room. So before when I said there was air conditioning as well on the room tour yesterday, there isn't. There's no air conditioning, is there? Um, no, there's no vent for it. It's just the fan and the window. And the window only opens that much, so you can't open it any more than that. So you don't really get much of a draft coming in, do you, from that tiny little bit of the window? But it's morning, it is now 20 past seven, it's very early, but we have breakfast at half past seven. Yeah. And so we're going to go for breakfast and see what that's like. And then we're going to come back to the room. We've packed up most things, haven't we? So I think we're just going to check out then and we can head through this secret little entrance today, can't we? The hotel guest entrance, yeah. which is near Galactica and Nemesis. Um, so we we're going to... Cafe mm -hmm. and come back. No, it wasn't Galactica Cafe, Mummy. No, I read, I read it wrong. It wasn't Galactica Cafe, it was Galactica Entrance. It said something else, some other word yeah, though. But cafe, yeah, I got mixed up with the words. Um, but you can come back through that entrance anyway, I think, by the looks of it, just as it's like a passageway. So I think we'll head through that way yeah. and then hopefully come back through that way later because yeah. of where the car is. But we'll see how we get on at breakfast. So we are in the breakfast place. This is a breakfast buffet. So there is all kinds of cereal. There's lots of yogurts here as well. Yeah, that's milk for your cereal. Then there's more cereal. And I've actually got like Alpro milk as well, soy milk and almond milk, which is really good. Weetabix Alpen. I think that's bowls and stuff for cereal. Ketchup and tomato sauce. Can get a plate from over there if you want a plate. Get your plate. Oh, girl. Don't worry, come on, missus. I think that might be a plate for toast, but you can just get that one for now. Bananas. Ooh, pancakes. You want some pancakes? Yeah, so it's all a self serve one, right? So there's two pancakes. And the syrup and sauce. So there's honey, maple syrup, butters, 
strawberry jam, margarine. Oh, I think that's Nutella as well, yeah. Nutella. You're putting a bit of that on. I'm just going to go around here, okay? While you're doing that. Well, there is bigger plates here, Matilda, actually. I think you've got a small plate. And there's sausages, beans, tomato, bacon. That looks like little potato pommes. Mushrooms, boiled eggs, scrambled eggs. That's Oh, and then it's just the same on it's the same on both sides so it's the same on that side over there and then over here there's pastries all individually wrapped so there's croissants pan au chocolats um, blueberry muffins chocolate muffins all the bus and things and then again there's um toast on this side again there's coffee machines so you can have like tea coffee and um, whatever you like there's also a microwave for doing baby food that's really good then there's also um i'm just walking back to the table sorry oh they've just put the little signs out now potato rust steak tomatoes butter. there's also um juice so you can have apple juice orange juice teas coffees um, so we're just sat here and the water park is right there so we're right next to the water park we've just finished breakfast um, and <laughs> they're not much in there apart from the selection of the buffet and um, it was just really busy and quite noisy in there so i did film the buffet selection for you um it was pretty basic but it was still nice there was pancake the only thing was the pancakes were cold it wasn't warm at all they were quite nice though they weren't like really dry but they just wasn't warm which was very strange but i do think what you could maybe do is put them through um the toaster to warm them up that might be an idea i only thought of that at the end but there was pancakes there was also bacon sausage beans mushroom little potato top like mini like i wouldn't say mini hash browns but if you've been to disney you'll know what potato tops is like little potato tops like potato barrels kind of thing. And then there was all the cereals, milk, soy milk, almond milk. Um, there was fruit as well, there was bananas, apples and oranges. And then there was all the pastries. So there was pan au chocolat, croissant, blueberry muffin, chocolate muffin, toast as well. Then there was butter, honey, marmalade, jam, Nutella. There was also like different sauces that you could pour on your breakfast. There was like maple syrup, chocolate sauce, strawberry sauce. I'm not sure if there's any other sauces, I'm trying to think. I don't think I saw any other sauces. But definitely a good selection of food. And we booked because it reminded us to book a slot. But we wasn't actually sure if you had to like pay for that or if you were just booking the slot. So when we went in, we were like, oh, we have booked a slot, but we're not sure how you pay for it. And the gentleman said, oh, no, if you're staying in the hotel, it's free breakfast. So I do think that's really good that you get a free breakfast when you stay here and it's a buffet so you can like all you can eat kind of thing. So I had like a bowl of muesli and then I had a pan au chocolat and I had um, two pancakes with a slice of bacon and some potato barrels. So you can have, you know, whatever you like. And then I'd already picked up these but decided not to eat them. But I didn't really want to put them back because I just thought with COVID it's not really safe to pick up something and put it back. And it, that's genuinely why I wasn't trying to do anything with them. Um, so I walked out and I thought, oh, I'm probably gonna get stopped because I know normally in Buffy you're not allowed to bring things out, but they didn't mind. So I brought out a banana and a blueberry muffin that I picked up. So we're gonna chuck them in the bag and then we've got them for the park later on. I didn't bring out anything else because I wasn't intending to bring it out. It genuinely was, I just brought it because had it in my hand but I didn't want to put it back on the buffet so all in all I'd say it was a good buffet um I'd say the breakfast was nice and for it being included in the price it was definitely a great thing we're going to go back to the room now um it's only um one minute past eight because we managed to get into breakfast at about 20 past eight we got in a bit early so it's only eight o'clock now I'm gonna go back to the room. I've got an hour until the park opens at nine, which means we can get in, and then the ride will open at 10. So we're gonna go back to the room now, have a little bit of a chill, and then we will check out and head over to the park. This is the hotel guest entrance. So it says here, hotel guest entrance open, 
please hold your hotel reservation and passes slash tickets at the ready. He told us to go down. We said go down lane one, but I can't really see any lanes. <laughs> and there's actually like nobody here and it opens in 10 minutes. But we noticed that a lot of people were actually going for the monorail, wasn't they? Yeah. Like literally everybody went for the monorail, which I do kind of get because the monorail leads you to the front of the park. So I get why people are wanting to go on the monorail to get to the front of the park, but we don't mind just going straight in here because no one else is going to be going in this way. So that means that we'll be in first before anybody else. So we came just along the path here, followed the path right along past the monorail, and we were here. It was only like a bit more than five minutes, maybe. Not too long of a wait, um, and we're right here. Why are you pulling a face like that? So, where are we? Mark Galactica. In the queue for Galactica. And is it open yet? No. The queue on is going to open. And what time do we think it's going to open? 10. 10 o'clock. We've got 35 minutes. But what time and do we get into the park? 9. 9. So, because we're hotel guests, we got in at 9 o'clock. But there's no rides open. So, Matilda <coughs> is very sad, aren't you? And the drink stations aren't open, drink everybody. Aren't open. So we're even sadder because I'm well with us. So everything is currently Done. shut. All the rides are shut. They don't open until 10 o'clock. So really there was no benefit of getting in early from staying in the hotel. But let, let me just show you something. One second, because you can get in at the front at 9 o'clock. So we could have easily just gone into the front at 9 o'clock like normal. Um, we got in this, like, this entrance, I suppose, which is the only benefit that you've got on this side of the park. But when the rides aren't open, everybody else has had a chance to come over here anyway. Um, and apparently they don't open at 10 o'clock, so I thought that there was selected rides open um, for hotel guests at 9 o'clock, but it doesn't seem that way. So now we've got uh, another 35 minutes to wait until Galactic opens at 10 o'clock. But we have a third group of people in the queue, aren't we? So at least we'll be first on, first off, and then we can go and get something else done. Yeah. <laughs> We'll let you know how it goes and hopefully we'll get on a little bit soon. Time. It is officially exactly one minute past ten. Sorry, two minutes past ten and they have just come and opened the queue ride. Um, it is a bit ridiculous because considering yesterday we were nearly on Smiler now. We opened the Smiler queue yesterday at about 22 quarter to. And then from there the ride opened um, and we were on it. Go around Mrs. taking the shortcut. We got to go around the full queue and then we were on Smiley yesterday by like seven minutes past I think it was we were on and off or so it is a bit annoying that like literally they've only opened the queue at the time the ride should open. I know that sounds really petty but I just think they could have at least opened it. It did. They could have opened it a little bit earlier so they were bang on ready at 10 to start people going round because Nemesis has been going round for the last 10 minutes so that queue is now going to be big but hopefully we'll get on it and we'll get off it so there was no benefit of having early um, access by staying at the hotel because you literally just got on the rides at the same time as everybody else but never mind we'll see. Okay, we're having an amazing day. We got straight to the front of Galactica and we went in lane two and actually got in the front row. So we went on the front row of Galactica, amazing. Came off, went to Nemesis and Nemesis was like no queue. Got straight on Nemesis in the back row, <laughs> off Nemesis. We ran over to Blade and it had like the barrier across it, even though on the app it didn't say it was closed. And it is 25 past 10 now. Um, waited for a second and then this staff member came over and opened the barrier and said oh just come on just come straight down we've just just opened up so we've literally just walked straight onto blade first people of the day straight on the ride so very exciting um so we're about to go on blade now um it's been drizzling a little bit but it's not raining too heavy um how was galactica missus really good great at the front wasn't it it's not pulling down, it's only drizzling a little tiny bit. Look at the sky. Galactica was ace. And Nemesis was funky, wasn't it, as well? So we're hoping we can get in the back row on here as well now. We've come off Blade and we've just come down this little path here 
And this is really funny because this like grave lady, it's like the haunted mansion, yes, she's singing. <laughs> Here lies the body of Diva Donatella. Step on the stone, dance and be merry. For her divine voice will turn you to jelly. <laughs> it's all like really funny things on them. Ludwig von Groening. Organist to King Bishop and Earl. Step on the grave and give us a twirl. Oh, it's stopped. Oh, that's still playing here. This one is Joanne von Groening. Here is buried Joanne the Seal. Legend does it, he wakes at night, stamp on his grave and give him a fright. Who's on this one? Sebastian von Gronin. These stepping stones before you lay, dance and leap and hear them play. I can't hear these ones playing now. Elizabeth von Gronin. They sailed on their honeymoon far away, but their shit went down the very same day. Yeah, I can only hear that one in the organist. But they are playing, so we've got <clears throat> this way to Jewel Runaway Mine Train, Congo River Rapids. We don't want that, do we? So I think we're going this way. So Blade, what happened on Blade, Matilda? We had the whole ship. We had the whole boat to ourselves, didn't we? The whole pirate ship. And where did we sit? At the end. Well, we sat like at the very back, didn't we? Because when you sit at the back, that goes the highest, doesn't it, on the ship? And so we sat at the back for the highest and we're literally the only people on the... Oh, careful, Matilda. Oh. Oh, gargoyles. Oh, yeah, yesterday we were down there on the lake, wasn't we? I think this is called the gloomy woods, though, this. So I think this is why they have all different, like... I think we have been through it once before. They have, like, all different, like, funky things going through it. Um, but this is, like, the step-free access way, this one. Oh, you can go in there. Mirror, mirror on the wall, can you hear the maiden's call? Careful not to look too closely for fear of seeing something ghostly. Ooh. What's in it? Oh, it's just a mirror inside of like music playing. It's just a mirror with music. It's nothing to be scared of. Um, so we're going to walk this way now. I'm not really sure what we're heading to. What are we heading to now? We're not even sure ourselves, are we? No. It's raining a little bit. 13 actually is down, even though I was told in the hotel it was open. And I was told Oblivion was down in the hotel and that's open. <laughs> um, but Rita's open. But 13's still down. Um, Smiler and everything's up now, isn't it? Gangster Granny and that's open. So I think we're going to kind of maybe head over that way. Yeah, we did Wicker Man yesterday, so we're not really going to do that again. Especially if it's raining as well. Like, I'm not keen on doing loads of rides that we did yesterday again today because we've already done nemesis and galactica again we didn't do blade yesterday so that's a bonus today isn't it blade so we'll head and see where we end up we ended up at rita um it was open and it was um, wasn't a long wait but we used oh geez oh yeah the path that we went to i'm sorry i feel really sick i don't think i can do rita anymore <laughs> Um, the path that we went on that time was a lot quicker than what we did yesterday. Even though it was pretty that one yesterday, that was a lot quicker. I'm sorry, I think I'm just so tired and like exhausted that I just feel like it's really getting to me now. Um, I think what it is with Rita, it's that initial shoot off. Last time I did it, I didn't feel right. I just thought, oh, it was just funny because I normally feel fine on this. I don't know what it is, but it's done it again to me. Oh, old age. Why am I that old? I can't be old at 30, 33. I'm 33 now. I'm 34. I'm flipping heck, I'm 34. Can you believe that? That was only 32 then. I got told I was 33 now. I'm actually 34. Well, 34. It's not that old, is it, though? Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning to the beef eaters. Um, I'm not going on that Flavio's. Flipping heck, no, I get a squash like a pancake on that. Um, we're going to go to... Gangster Granny, and then you can go and ride your shop. Um, we're going to get a Gangster Granny now because we didn't manage to get on it yesterday. Because if you watched day one of our vlog, you will see that when we got here yesterday, they announced that it was technical difficulties and it shut just as we got here. Um, so we're going to go on Gangster Granny now because all three of us are going to go on this because Ant doesn't like rides, so we doesn't really get on many. And the testing 13 at the moment as well, we've noticed. So I'm really hoping, fingers crossed that when we get off this, it possibly might be open. So we'll keep you updated. 
We've just come off Gangster Granny. It is really fun, the ride. And we're now in Raj's shop, which is just like, exactly like the book, free gift, out of stock. Raj's deals, free gift with every tin of spam. So there's loads of just like sweets and things. Raji's deals buy one get none free. There was all things like there's an inflatable walking frame. I was part of the heist. A trembling llama. I don't know what that even is. Knitting kits. Loads of like funny things. Joke boxes. Racing grannies. Whoopee cushions. T-shirts and hoodies. Like £25 for a hoodie that is there. Pajamas games and things. My name is the slightly Sophie. annoying elephant. My name is Sophie. I'm a corgi. My birthday is the 6th of May and I live in London. Is it the Queen's Corgi? Yes. Okay. Pit, got a little oh, little, little Queenie clothes. Oh, actually, I've not got things. Yeah, lots of books. No, I've not read it. No, I don't think you've read things, have you? Loads of books. That's his hair. Lots of other bits of things. A lot of it's just chocolates and sweets. And... Oh, they've got some nice games here. Gangster Granny board game, £22 memory game, 10 Go fish cards, cheap games, £6. And there's Great Escape or Volante. <laughs> Mental maths games, wonderful witty word, times tables games. They're quite cool, eight pounds each. These are bad like activity set and pens. Thanks to Granny's swag bag. <laughs> Dress up. This is what Matilda likes, these there, these little corgis. So the little corgi teddies. I think lots of different things in the window, local dentists, to relate into like all the movies. Wanted exhibition creator for new mammoth display. Volumes of hair, loads of different like relations, like all the films and things, Taj Mahal. <laughs> Twilight Towers, missing granddad last seen at Twilight Towers care home. They themed it like really, really well. Cash machine, always a bonus. And I think that's it for the shop. Oh, they've got like magnets and stuff there and key rings. So this is Pinball Wither. And there's people stuck on it. They look like they're facing the wrong way, aren't they? Yeah. members of staff on it on the other side that they got off and then now it looks like there's two people on the other side that they're now trying to get off see that girl in the red at least it got stuck on that bit where there's a platform at least we can get off luckily it's just awful that they kind of got stuck in the rain so we went on 13 didn't we and we've got two staff members and two boys stuck we well, just said that so what was their theme like? Really good. Really but you don't good. like the queue, do you? Because the queue is like really annoying, isn't it? And it says like lots of different things, isn't it? About like few go down in the forest, in the woods today, isn't it? It was a bit loud, wasn't it? And not very nice. But you love the ride though, don't you? The ride is really good. It is a She just doesn't like the queue. Um, because we didn't use the access pass because we literally got off of the roller disco didn't we and we ran because the staff member on roller disco told me that 13 wasn't going to be open all day today got off 13 got off roller disco and it was open and everyone was running so we just ran didn't we right round and we were literally got on straight away didn't we yeah we were probably like five minutes it was really really quick yeah they're getting them off now um, so we did the roller disco that was good wasn't it wasn't as spinny as what we thought it was going to be yeah it was a bit like the waltzers um 
like her rise up the balls, but it wasn't as bad as what we thought it was going to be, so it was okay. So we did that first, and then we went on to 13 because we saw the queue. Then we was going to leave, but we were running around over smile, wasn't we? Or just leaving because Matilda's really tired, and I think we've been up at like half six this morning. We were up at half six yesterday morning. It's a lot. This is an hour and five minutes away. You know, we've come to the um, what she wanted to come to. The Go Jetters ride, not Go Jetters, what's this called? Oh, Treetop Adventure um, as a last ride. I don't know why, but you love this one, don't you? Um, we are going to use the access pass for this because it's like an hour and ten minute queue. Who's that? Sophie! So um, use... If you do want to ride him, go into the shop because in the front. Yeah, we saw the red the front of it before, didn't we? Tell you about birthdays and everything. Says, yeah, we read that. I read that in the shop before, Mrs. Yeah. Sorry. So when a birthday is and everything, isn't it? My name is Sophie. Um, so I am a cool keep. My birthday is six of May. The boys from the ride right behind us. Hopefully, yeah. you can just see a little bit of it there still. Um, so the plan is now is to go on this, isn't it? And then I think we're going to head home after this because, like I said, we're all really tired. We were up at half six yesterday. We were up at half six today to get our breakfast and things. Um, so it's really early and we're just shattered. We've done loads of rides today though. Like yesterday we didn't manage to get on Wheater because it was down, 13 was down. We didn't do Blade yesterday. We didn't do Roller Disco. Um, never done Roller Disco, no. So we have done some things. That we didn't do Gangster Granny yesterday. We've done Gangster Granny. So the only kind of things that we did today, that we did, that we've done again today was Enter not Enterprise, was Nemesis and Galactica, wasn't it? done both of those today um, so we're going to go on this and then we'll see where we're up to but I think we are just going to head home after this and we are off the monorail um, so we did do what we said we did the treetop adventure um, is it treetop adventure is that what it's called? yeah we did the treetop adventure and then we just decided to head out um, and come back to the car it's been a really long um, day yesterday and it is actually 25 to 2 so we have stayed there a long time now it's not like we've always had a little bit and we've come out and then we've done lot, loads of rides today like I said before loads of rides that we haven't done um, yesterday that we've done today I think we're all absolutely shattered so we're on the monorail we chose to get the monorail so we've got the monorail to the car park and our car is um, right next to the monorail station near the hotel so it's worked out really well because we'll get off the monorail now and we'll literally be right by the car, won't we? Um, we could have gone back up to like Galactica and Nemesis and come out that way down that hotel entrance, but we were the other side of the park and the skyline is still not working. So we would have had to have walked all the way up and just to come out there and we were closer just to come to the front to get the monorail. Like we obviously have to go like to right to the front of the park and exit and then get to the monorail but we were still we were at CBBS anyways so it was way quicker than going right back to the back of the park so we have had an amazing time haven't we yeah and um, if you watched our vlog from yesterday day one you'll know that we got our tickets for the water park we validated for 12 months so we obviously are going to come back um, and I think we will stay in the Old Towers Hotel next time. We'll see. They're all there, right? Yeah, different times of the year. But, um, I think we will at some point stay in the Old Towers one. Matilda's quite keen to stay in the CBB's one as well. Um, but I think we will do. Um, I think we will do a different one next time. Um, but we'll come into the same thing. I think. We'll think. But I think we'll do a splash first next time, and um, the water park, and then maybe do Old Towers the day after. But we'll see. So. Thank Thanks for following along the ride with us. I hope you enjoyed this little mini trip vlog series and we will see you all soon. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe.